any of you guys are wondering, come on, how did I get airplay, I mean, <laughs> airdrop and airplay on this iPhone 4? This is not a 4S. See the antenna? SIM card. Can you look at the model number on the back? This is an iPhone 4 GSM. And you may be wondering, also how, you also may be wondering how I got transparency. I'll leave a link in the description for that. But how to get the, the uh, AirPlay and AirDrop, you do need to be jailbroken, which is like a must for all these tweaks and stuff. Um, yeah, it's a good thing for it to load, because again, this is 7.0.6. It also works with 7. Dot, pretty much any version of iOS 7. So if you're on 7.1.2 or 7.0, it'll still work. Now for AirDrop, you do need to add a repo, hack your iPhone. Ignore these. These are a different. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is uh, just because of Ultra Snow. It can't find that, that repo, which is there by default. So, oh, okay, yeah. Speaking of this, if you, if you want, if you want to know how to get rid of this stupid reloading data pop up thing and clicking return to studio and having to wait 24 million years, just delete the repo. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Delete repo. Delete this repo. Hold on, I'll show you. Because if you open it. There's, oh wait, wait, <laughs> okay, it's possible they fixed it because it's for the longest time ever there was nothing in this repo, but I guess now there is, okay. Anyway, uh, repo.hackyouriphone.org, and then you can go under, maybe you can just go under all packages, or maybe you can just actually, once you add that repo and, and then do whatever, you can type in air wow there's a tweet called air uh airdrop and it's the airdrop enabler ios 7.0 plus i don't know why i have that installed i think i was just messing around with some settings and i uh, installed that but you don't need that you need the one in the middle so install that from the repo and then install air oh okay airplay which is no repo required it's built in airplay AirPlay Enabler. It's funny because AirPlay Enabler, it's it's um, uh, a settings extension, so you do need preference loader. But you can enable. It says that you can enable AirPlay and AirDrop. So if you go, it says add uh, preferences panel. So if you go under settings, then you go under all the way down. You'll see the AirPlay Enabler. But if you click it. And this is, I don't know why, this is a bug or something. But you can enable both. But even though they're both enabled, you, you only get AirPlay here at the thing. Like, it, like, this whole thing will just say AirPlay, even though AirDrop is enabled. So you have to install that tweak from the repo to actually get AirDrop working. So, I hope this video was helpful. If, it, if not, I'm sorry. But I will do. I will link the, tw the, the video in the description on how to get uh, parallax enabler and uh, all this like come on all of this like transparency of you turn the volume up on your iphone 4 it's like transparent i will link a video my video in the description and yeah bye everyone